Your provider has determined a safe range for your INR values. If your INR is frequently out of range, you are at an increased risk of bleeding or developing a dangerous clot. Out of range INRs also result in more blood draws and dose changes. There are many things that can affect your INR, such as your warfarin dosage, diet, alcohol consumption, other medications, activity, and illness. It is important that you take the correct dose and follow the same schedule prescribed to you by your provider. In order to do this, you should take your dose at the same time every day. Keep track of your daily dose by using a pillbox or calendar. Always double check your tablet size. If you miss a dose, make sure you mark it on your calendar and tell your provider. The things you eat and drink can also affect your INR, especially foods high in vitamin K. Foods high in vitamin K are typically leafy green vegetables such as spinach and broccoli. Gee, I can't wait to use all these greens in my young self. Stop, Alice. You're on warfarin. You can only use a moderate amount of these tasty vitamin K enriched foods. Oh my. I need to make sure that my vitamin K diet is consistent every day. Thank you for reminding me. My salad is going to be so delicious. Alcohol is another thing in your diet that impacts INR. If you choose to drink, limit yourself to one or two drinks a night. Anything more will increase your risk of bleeding. Warfarin interacts with many medications, herbal supplements, and vitamins, all of which can alter your INR. It is important that you inform your provider as soon as you start or stop a medication. Keep your activity consistent. Drastically changing your activity levels can affect your INR. Now here is a bad example of being active while on warfarin. Inform your provider of any sudden changes in your activity. Illness can also cause your INR to go out of range. Examples of such illness that can alter your INR are diarrhea, vomiting, flu, or an episode of heart failure. It is important that you notify your provider if you are sick. In summary, there are many things that go into a stable INR. Warfarin dosage, alcohol consumption, diet, activity, other medications, and illness.